Hey y'all, Coach and the Fight here, Guy Clifford and Will with me. Hey y'all. Hey. And in today's video, we're going to make a sundial. Alright. This is the, uh, what we call ourselves last time, we was the Junkyard Band. Yep. Yeah, for this video, let me pop over here and look. We're going to get this old uh, sundial out of the junkyard and we're going to turn it into a sundial. Mm -hmm. Did I say that right? Yeah, I think so. We got this uh, dish. This is a satellite dish. So we're going to turn this satellite dish into a sundial. Yeah. All right. Hey, y'all. While we're waiting for the boys to gather the tools and whatnot, I wanted to show you what time it is. We're here on September the 19th. Um, I guess I could have showed you exactly what time it is. Let me see if I can show you that right quick. Um, 2.23. Um, I hope you guys caught that. Oh, my phone is doing a dancey. But yeah, there it is. September the 19th is when we are. And this is the reading on the old sundial, if it'll pop up for us here. And so you see the line which represents the equinox, at least the line that we drew for the equinox in the spring. And you see we are approaching it. We are now in the fourth gate. Okay. And you see we are approaching the um, third gate. And of course, when we get that new moon in the third gate, we will um, have the day of remembrance. And now, of course, I feel like I'm being preachy because I've said that so much. Um, but I just wanted to show, share this with you. All right. So here are the tools that we have gathered to get this done. Um, we don't know exactly what we're going to need because I just noticed something significant about this particular model of sundial that this job may get a lot easier than we thought it was going to be initially. So um, in the other video, or we said we had this down pat. Well, turns out this is another experiment. So we're about to start tinkering around and see what our father can come up with with this idea. Now, what I'm talking about is this particular sundial, how it looks like it's actually going to work like we wanted to the last time, or we're just going to spin it. Um, but we're going to try it. It looks different. Um, we got the tools here. We're going to see how it works. All right, Clifford got it apart, and it has a unique feature that this may be one of the best dishes for this satellite project. If you would, Clifford, spin that thing around. All we did was take those two nuts off, and it'll see, it'll actually turn, it'll keep spinning, three, so we can put it at any angle we want. And while we're talking, that's good enough, Clifford. While we're talking about this, we're, we're seeing how we can actually use this pole that's already attached to it, and we just need to get it to the um, right angle. Um, and here we have a lot of options. So let's see how it turns out. All right, so wow, it went ahead and popped off. Looks like it was only being held on by that little nipple there, um, and then doing that, able to do that little spinny um, trick there. But anyway, um, like we said, we're on Eagles Wingles right now, so Clifford and Will are about to temporarily plant this pole just so we can see what's going on. Now Clifford is going to loosen this bolt up here so we can adjust the angle of the satellite dish. So one on this side, just loosen it up. All right, just loosen it up and then loosen one on the other side, just like it. Uh, what size of socket does that take, Clifford? A eleven. See, just by turning it upside down, we get an angle something like uh, uh, a little like 28, 29, 
and so we're going to have to adjust the adjust it. But um, one, like I said, one of the reasons why we use these sundials is because they have these uh, little quick adjustments on them, and not only that, but they actually have numbers on it. So, you know, we may be may even come up with some type of chart for the coordinates so it is real easy to set it according to wherever your GPS coordinate is and these particular numbers that's uh, stamped into the metal here alright so we are um, right there at about 29 and we need to go to 31 so we adjust it a little bit Will okay hold up about right there so that's how easy um, it is if you would take it all the way down for us Let's see how much range of motion we could get. If you're close to the North Pole, you could be down here at about 55. All right, let's go the opposite, opposite way. And this is why we flip them so we can get this range of motion. Um, we actually check and see if this is necessary. But if you're at the equator, you could, uh, well, not the equator, but you can at least at the 10 degree latitude you can use this type I believe if I understand this correctly you can use it at about 11 degrees uh, to almost 55 all right all right we're here we got a little bit of sun so we're actually able to see what we got going on with our sundial we got to set it up beside the functional sundial this is the old hill Billy Homestead sundial we've had in operation for about uh, six months or so but this one over here looks like it's going to work with simply that pole right there, right? Yep, with a little pole right there make it a little easier, I guess. Well, we didn't have to do any drilling. We haven't done any cutting. All we did was take a number 11 socket and flip this disc around. And it's already ready to be set to be turned into a sundown. It's just that easy. That's all we had to do. Now it's just a matter of getting it calibrated such that, you know, it matches the celestials. We're using this as a kind of a reference point, but from what we're seeing being cast on this sundial, this one is actually going to work with his own, with the own pole, this pole right here. And we, like I said, we haven't uh, modified it or cut it or anything, and that's what we're trying not to do, actually. Um, like I said, just a little 11 wrench, flipping this thing upside down, setting it to the sun, and we have a sundown. Yep. So that's what we'll do next. All right. Coach in the fight here, guy Chris with me. Hey, y'all. And we're talking about how to set the sundown using trigonometry. Mm -hmm. You know, you guys follow our channel, you know, we made this uh, Hillbilly Homestead sundial out of an upside down satellite dish. We're actually doing the same thing over here, um, creating a new one just to kind of simplify the process. But what I wanted to show you in this video is how to set it. The Solar Noon, we're looking here at an app I have running on my phone, a um, little bit hard to see. But it tells us that the sun makes its transit at 1242 p.m. That's when the sun is the highest in the sky on this particular day, September the 20th, 2021. And we see that the sun is right there at 1242. So when we're looking at our sundial, it should match right up with solar noon. And that's the Hillbilly Homestead sundial. And you can see that it is right there at solar noon. But over here, we have this other one um, that we're working on. It's still kind of adjustable here. So what I, all I have to do to set this to solar noon is right at 1242. Just make sure it's right there in the middle. I don't have it screwed down or anything like that, but you get the idea. Is when I move that uh, shadow casting right in the middle, right at 1242. It's got to be right at solar noon. Um, not noon, solar noon. Like I said, it's 1242 today. Next week, it'll be a different time. And by doing so, you have now set your sundial um, in the horizontal position. And of course, then all you have to do is get it set in the vertical position and you'll have it set. Um, it has to be matched to your GPS location. Where I'm at here, I'm at about 31 degrees north. So my uh, pole, this pole right here that casts the shadow on the satellite dish has to be set at 31 degrees. Right. Now, this particular satellite dish is what they call the Slimline satellite dish, and it has some unique features in it. Let me show you how you can use the features of this satellite dish in order to set to your particular GPS location. 
All right. Well, we come to the back of the satellite dish, and we see these um, gauge right here. The elevation gauge. The elevation gauge. And even though our celestial pole is set at 31 degrees,